up and comers. You know, you can see like different. Uh, so sometimes you see a lot of weird characters that you're not used to seeing. Well, but you know, in unranked SoCal, anything can go and happen. <laughs> That's true. I absolutely That's love it. True. But I was going in to get started. Uh, Mario versus uh, Captain Falcon. How do you think about the matchup? About this matchup, I mean, Mario combos the heck out of this character. Um, I would definitely say it's in Mario's flavor just because of that. Already, com Mario's combo game is so strong, and uh, yeah, you're just seeing. I already like that game. dash tech into that, but bronze decap status. I kind of, I love, the, I love both the costumes. It's not very often you go and see construction Mario. <laughs> yeah, I just think of Mario is a more well-rounded character. Very much. Ooh, jab combo reset. I like that. Oh wow, this is a that was actually a pretty nice combo, but not gonna go ahead and get anything like. Yeah. Later on that, I would have liked to go ahead and seen, you know, like an up B after that or something to go ahead and follow that to finish it off, make it look like it could have killed. It would have been amazing if it did lead into something, but it didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So some good combos coming out from the strategist, but it looks like Lucky is bringing it back a little bit here. But he's trying to, but I, I like the way the strategist is playing. He's putting his fireballs in there, keeping the space out of that. Yeah, st yeah, standard Mario stuff. Right now. He doesn't need to force anything. Problem is that Luck has to go ahead and find skills. He has him an offstage advantage. Could go ahead and there we go. Good trade on that back here. Didn't kill oh, strategist. Wow. I like that. Good DI. Oh, this feels very it. even with these two going back and forth though. Yeah, that uh, opening nair or that nair one for Falcon leads into so much, but unfortunately, <laughs> oh, nice two frame. That was really awesome actually. Okay, good Chris. No, you called it. Luck going ahead and come bringing that back quite a bit actually. I like that. <laughs> But Strategist doesn't have to think too much, just up smashes him and yeets his first stock. Yeah, that was a pretty hard yeet right there. <laughs> up smash covers so much space. Yeah, Nair won much better at the early percents. At that higher percent earlier, he could not get any combos off of it. Another good up smash in coming in from Strategist. Okay, Standard nice combos. Up the second up air there, but it's, it's all good. Oh, that's all good. Okay, really good. I like how he's actually going ahead and destroying the fireballs, actually, with any kind of hitbox you can throw out towards it. Yeah, really re requires a lot of great timing, and I feel like, uh, you know, if Strategist goes ahead and sees that, he can see that he's going to try to target the fireballs. He could be able to capitalize on that later on. Oh, definitely. He's he's done it every time here, actually. It seems like, uh, I mean, Lucky's almost a kill percent here. I keep saying Lucky. It's like Luck 7. Yeah, Luck 7. Luck 7. Yeah, Luck 7 is... Uh, is almost a kill percent here, so I'm wondering if he's going to try to bait that out and just take the stock here. That seems like it would be a good play for Strategist, but he's off stage right now. Yeah, Luck keeps finding those grabs, actually. It's really good so far. But, I mean, fortunate for him. But if he goes ahead and finds another another good solid, like back air, you know, any one of those kind of things, he could go ahead and do things, but he's not. There you go, one down tilt. There you go. Two, two down tilts taken out. It's both stocks for Luck 7 here. He almost got styled out. <laughs> he gets, gets, gets sham wowed. There you go, just Damn goes ahead and pull that. I've 599, that he too could go ahead and take him off stage. Gotta use that one. Alright, text in place. Wrong decision. Both players actually going back and forth. This has been a very even game back and forth so far. I haven't really seen anything that's like just like stood out and be like, oh my gosh, that's super hype. But they're going back and forth playing really solid in their neutral play. Lucky All right, last stock right here, and uh, Lucky's got him at the ledge, but uh, Mario finds his way back and gets a huge combo. Yeah, but and it did put him in an advantage position, but he but he had to forward smashed on shield, which put him back in a disadvantage position. Luck seven actually able putting himself in a favorable position. Back air, not quite gonna do it. Yeah, they go ahead and close really out this first game. Yes, oh, he nice. can one back air. Yeah, when you have Mario at the ledge like that or, or towards the edge of the screen like that as Falcon, it's just a, such a good position. You have your back airs, th those can kill. Going for Genom 1 jab, that can kill as well. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of things you can go ahead and do at the later percentage. But yeah. the important part for, for Lux7, he was able to go ahead and keep that wall up there, keep that really great edge guard positioning. He kept his positioning well. Um, a couple times, you know, he gave up the, the state, but it wasn't to a point that was overly costly. It was pretty close set. A little bit of back and forth with that was nice. Um, I liked Strategist combos going into it. I feel Strategist was really combo it was a was punishing harder on his combos and extensions towards that. But he just wasn't finding the kill as quick as he could. He got that one cheesy sham wow. I love that side B <laughs> and the the up smash yeah. Yeah, and that was about it. So good to him on that. He's gonna run it back to the same state to the same stage. So that might work for him. We'll see. Like I said, if he can go ahead and combo this char uh, character, depending if uh, you know Luck Seven might decide not to go ahead and be Bronze kneecap. But he's bronze kneecap. 
the bronze kneecap. So that's you're calling that's what a uh, Falcon Ford airs. Oh yeah, well I mean look, he's literally bronze kneecap. Oh, like from uh, Crimson Chin. <laughs> yeah, Crimson Chin. <laughs> okay, I yeah I didn't make that connection. But no, I I still want to go ahead and see that because despite him not throwing out a single forward air last game, he's been, he's been able to sure to go ahead and use his really good uh, back airs and nares. Uh, and anything else, he, and up airs to go ahead and go to. Oh, wow, I can go ahead and hear myself now. <laughs> okay, you couldn't hear yourself either. All right. I mean, so professional. Uh -huh. Like he's having going in with those uh, rapid jabs right there. I like that. The up tilt at the edge, though, always questions me. I wish it hit below stage like it did in Smash 4, but it doesn't. So uh, I, don't, I don't think an up tilt is as good against the ledge anymore. It's not even viable. No, maybe if you catch your opponent going for le ledge hop options, you can get a quick kill, but it's a huge commitment on Falcon's part. Uh-huh, absolutely. And extremely punishable. Strategist now, uh, you know, he's, he's coming in with those uppers. Good back air right there. Yeah, he, he's been able to sort of keep uh, Falcon in disadvantage for uh, for a while. But again, finding that kill has just been a struggle for him. If he can go ahead and find the strategy, think the right plan, maybe, just maybe, he'll go ahead and take that stock before Lux7 can. Okay, run up, up smash. I mean, that worked for Lux7. That works. Yeah, he didn't even reverse it. <laughs> wow. He just literally just stood there and down smash twice. Yeah. Sometimes yep. if you don't succeed the first time, you just change the timing and try again. Dude, most of the time your opponent is thinking, oh, he won't go for it again. I, I, you know, he's made a mistake. Oh, he can go for back air there, unfortunately. I honestly feel like lag just does not exist in this game. Like, name a laggy move that's not from Sonic. Uh, <laughs> war luck punch. Okay, okay, you got me. Yeah, you got war luck punch. <laughs> no, I totally agree with you, though. I mean, landing lag on aerials has been reduced so much, too, that you can just land for free with a lot of moves. Mm -hmm. And some smash attacks too, but really good forward smash. That uh, was a bad DI from Strategist. Yeah, so he didn't get the tipper there, but uh, Strategist may be holding out there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm surprised that killed. Falcon is pretty heavy. He is pretty heavy, but I mean, it doesn't matter if you don't have good DI. He looks like he was just DIing away there. Wow, okay. He's starting okay. to get something pretty good there. Racking up some pretty good percent. Oh, yeah, nice. Finds that F smash, smash connecting on a whip. And that... Oh, oh, he, he saved thought he was, him. He saved him. That would have been that would have been the next round. He would have been on going to the next turn round, but he's not. Well, he's still, still up at two stocks. A one forward smash. Finally, finally fi playing the entire game. Finally he's finds not. that tipper. Uh huh. And that's a and that's one one. Yes, it is. Oh, that's right, because the Falcon won the uh, Lux Seven won the last one. I right. We were. No, I think the tags got switched afterwards, so I think Lux Sevens are Mario player. Right. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, well, Oops. no, yeah, Lux Sevens are Lux Sevens are Falcon. Player. Oh no, he, okay. And Strategist is our Mario player. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. I'm gonna All go right. with that. Mass confusion here at MSM. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the best we can though, for you guys, for the fans. Absolutely. Uh, one washed up commentator and another person that actually probably doesn't seem better than me. <laughs> Appreciate I, you coming on this, Jack. Oh, I mean, I was planning to anyway. I thought we were there setting up. So I, was <laughs> I saw you hop on. I'm like, oh, man, I got to get on before someone else takes my spot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, originally, I didn't really have a spot. I wasn't going to go commentate. But then I saw that nobody was on the mic. And I'm just happy to go ahead and see these two players fight. But anyway, we have Lux7 and Strat just going back in for their game three, figuring out who's going to be taking the first match of tonight's GGG. It gets that weak back air. It doesn't follow up on it, though. It's probably wise on him. OK, F tilt. Good, good uh, attack, but he, and he reads, it looks like he read the roll, but he just stepped too far forward and missed the grab on there. Yeah. Lux Dash haven't able to strategy, uh, capitalize afterwards. Dash grab can be a little tricky in this game just because it's so laggy. I mean, you there are situations in the previous game where you could get dash grab punishes, and uh, in this game it's, again, so much slower that you end up getting punished yourself sometimes, especially if you whip it. Whiff it. It's like whiffing a smash attack mm -hmm. in the previous games. Ooh, oh, no tech there. Tech. No, I don't think he could attack. It almost looked kind of pink. Well, maybe, maybe I looked at that wrong. That was also. close. Um, some of the pink ones you can tech. If I, you, yeah, the hard like the hard pink ones you can, but like the light pink ones you can. Oh, okay. Still, still really, really hard though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it looks like uh, Lucky. Right. Strad just getting in. Oh. Lucky. Yeah, Strad just able to go ahead and uh, just get, just get that just right. I like how the hell he's playing with that Falcon play right there. Ooh, oh, oh spot dodge. That was so nice. I thought he was going to get hit by that. I'm like, oh, that was clever. That was nice. Yeah, Lux7 has been going for that F-Smash so many times. Uh, Strategist got that read. Yeah, wait. 
Okay, yeah, I know. There's Lex 7 we're... above the Falcon, and then there's Lex 7 where the Mario sign is. We've switched again. <laughs> it's a thing. It's all good. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to Lux7 and Strategist. That's all right. We may never know who is who. <laughs> That's all right. We'll just, we'll just go ahead and start saying, uh, you know, Falcon and, yeah, and Mario Falcon. now. That's it. Uh, really, these these two players are the personification of these characters anyway. I think you actually have to go ahead and become a character once you go ahead and start playing the game. It almost yeah. feels like sometimes. You, become your character. Know your frame data. <laughs> I am Falcon. If that's the case, like... Literally, Zachary just goes ahead and wears a bunch of masks and then goes and changes his persona every single time. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. That was still really nuts going into that. Okay, finally capitalizes on that knockdown. I like that. I see you, Strategist or like, I'm not sure which. Ooh, the bronze kneecap finally getting one knee in. I love it. <laughs> That's going to kill him. Oh, man. so Such an early kill. I know. 0-0. Zero, zero, final stock. Game three. That's the kind of stuff I like to see. That's really nice. You know, round one, at least it's close. Yes, yeah, it's pretty pretty exciting for, for our first game of the, match of the season. Yeah, and getting that weak back air, unfortunately, not going to lead into grab. No, okay. But now they're just kind of both just kind of feeling each other out. Throwing out moves, seeing who's going to go ahead and K first. Well, Falcon went in, he got punished for it, and uh, now he's kind of backing off a little bit. But uh, this conservative play, uh, Lucky has kind of, or the Mario has figured that out. So Heck yeah. he is just reading where he wants to go at this point. Ooh, and just that up smash. Finally goes ahead and takes the entire set for him. I think that's Strategist. That's actually Strategist because he's got the Royal Tag above his head. Strategist taking that first set for himself. Winning that 2-1 to one in a fairly close set on stream. Yeah, that, that Mario, at first he kind of struggled to kill, at the second, uh, but in the second games he, he uh, and then leading into the last game, he got those knockdowns with the Nair, which was really clever, and he Check covered all of that space. With the um, with the up smash, he covered the air dodge. He covered the landing. Oh, I have to go play. Well, right. Right, thank you very much, Jack. I really wish you the best on the stream. Give this guy a Appreciate shout out it. for him. He's going to be commentating while I'm away. It was a lot. Of, it was a pleasure to go ahead and commentate with you. Wish yeah. you the best on the stream. Thank Check you. you guys later. It's nice to finally meet you. Always a pleasure. <laughs> All righty, guys. Looks like it's the Jack the Mac show. So, MSM. I think we're we're past 400 now. We're like in the 412s. It's been a long game remote. It's, it's been a long time. A lot of uh, MSMs. Certainly been. I haven't been here for all of them, but uh, it's a great Southern California history, you know. And I'm happy to be a part of it. I hope you all are enjoying the game so far. That last one was pretty close, and I thought it was pretty entertaining. So I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. Um, if you get an opportunity, you should definitely come out to this venue. I mean, uh, I feel like MSM is really popping off with the new game and the DLC characters that are coming out. Like, Nintendo's really supporting this game. We're getting 100 entrants just about every week. And uh, if you want to come down, I mean, there's setups for... I think they've started bringing other games. Like, you can play Rivals of Aether here. There's some other games as well. I can't see them right now, but... Um, you know, if you're just down to c come here and hang out, it's it's awesome as well. And I think there's a restaurant nearby. We've got the menu on, so you can order. What is there? Some like bacon wrapped hot dogs and all kinds of c cool stuff you can get here. So it's a pretty cool venue. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the the old Falcon Punch front Fridays at the uh, the Boomers or not Boom <laughs> Boomers. Um, the one oh, I'm completely forgetting the name of it now. Um, I'm, it's blowing my. It's. Uh, I'm totally spacing on it, but uh, we had it. Oh, at the Dave and Buster's. That's where it was, and you could order food there and, and drinks. Uh, but looks like we're gonna have Korean and Shadow Wolf here. Uh, T, uh, that's right, TSM Korean, because he is. He is with TSM. Um, recently was picked up by them. Actually, just last week, and uh, he's announced that he's coaching for Tweak. And uh, some of their other players. Oh yeah, Leffen as well. So um, great, great stuff for him. I'm super happy to 